What is up, everyone? Brad here from Afterburner SEO. And um, in case you didn't want to read what I wrote below, I thought I'd shoot a quick video <laughs> if you like listening to me talk better. So anyway, beefing up your rankings without sending any links directly to the money site. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to take the links that you've already built. Um, now those um, predominantly are going to be PBN links. Of course, they can be anything like a press release, a Web 2.0, anything like that. You're going to take the current links that you have pointing to those. Uh, if they're PBNs, you did not build them because traditionally you get a PBN with pre-built power, so you don't need to send the links to the PBNs. So we're going to take those links, aggregate those links, and we're going to actually send um, lower cost, higher quality links to those links to kind of, um, you know, get them juiced up a little bit. We don't go overboard. You know, immediately when I say that, people think, Oh, I'll just throw them in GSA and just blast the crap out of them. Don't do that because, you know, eventually, you know, you can get burned that way. So we're going to go kind of a safer method here. So as you can see, you've got the money site. You've got your different various PBN links that you built. You know, we've got five here. Um, and then you've got your links going to the PBNs. And then we're going to take those and we're going to send a tier two to the PBNs. But there will be a tier three for your money site. So that'll keep you... Um, farther away from the building links to the money site. So, um, for example, I've got this one here. Now, this um, is one that I found. It's an expired domain. Anyone can go out and grab it if you want. Um, it'll probably get looked at, though, so I probably wouldn't touch it. Um, but it's one I found. It's got a trust flow 20, uh, citation flow 22. That's good. Uh, it doesn't have too many links, but that's, uh, that's cool. Um, the reason why I didn't pick this one up is because the domain authority is a little lower. So I just kept it in the back of my pocket. Now, um, what this graph right here is going to do is it's going to actually build domain authority. And you can even build some Web 2.0 stuff like that, but you've got to be a little more careful. So you're just going to get link juice to flow all the way to the money site. So we're going to plug it into Majestic, Ahrefs, um, whatever your favorite um, link inspection tool is. We're going to go down here. And we can just grab these top links. Now I'm not signed into an account or anything, so I'm not getting the full full effect of it. But you know, we can go here. This um, listing CA slash British Columbia. We can take a look at it. We'll open it, and yeah, some kind of directory site. So um, if this were one of your backlinks to your PBN, you would grab this and you would throw some fiber gigs at it. So I'll show you how to find those here in a second. And then you know, this airport base, it looks like this was some type of airport site. I don't even know what it was called. Um, yeah, some hotel site. So it makes sense to have an airport link to it. So yeah, you got your, your link to your PBN right here. So just beat that one up a little bit. And what it's going to do is it's going to make the links going to the PBN stronger, which in turn makes your PBN stronger. So, of course, Web 2.0 is whatever other links you've got going to it. So once you, you know, get all the links that you want to kind of beef up, um, what I like to do is say it has a, a Wikipedia link going to your PBN. I grab that Wikipedia link. I kind of juice it up a little. I make it niche relevant. I use, um, you know, broad match niche relevant terms. So if I'm in the health and beauty niche, I would use terms like health and beauty. Um, eye cream, stuff like that, anything like that, women's products, whatever you want to do. I don't use my exact um, match anchor text just because I don't want it to look pitchy. So just something general to kind of help you theme out the site a little more. Um, so what do we do? We hop over to Fiverr, then we just start beefing it up $5 at a time. So this one's currently paused, but you can find a bunch of them um, out there. You just type in Web 2.0 gig. This is one I've used in the past. Basically, what you get is one, two, three, four, five, you know, high authority um, Web 2.0s, um, which will pass a ton of authority. Then he kind of follows this up with a an RSS tier two. So that's actually tier four for your money set. So, you know, just type in Web 2.0. You may have to dig a little, but um, once you find a few good ones, then you can just go back to those as needed. Now, another one aside from Web 2.0s is uh, social bookmarks, and I want to kind of Pass out a word of warning on that. You can get a social bookmark gig that offers a ton of social bookmarks. Don't do that. We don't want to blow anything up. We just want higher quality. You can get real low quality social bookmarks. You don't want to do that. Find one with, you know, 30 to 50 maybe um, social bookmarks. I'll show you what I mean. You just 
search for social bookmark. Go to bookmarking links, put a high rating, and see what we got here. Like this one is 800. Probably wouldn't want to use that one. Um, this guy will be a few, a thousand or 30,000 of them, something like that. I don't typically go for those. Um, the one I point out in the article is this one. Um, and you can see he's doing 20 of them, which isn't a huge amount, but they're higher quality. He, I believe he, yeah, Twitter, Reddit, stumbled upon Digio, uh, Tumblr, Delicious, Buzznet, FriendFeed, Plurk, etc. Um, all high quality sites, all a huge domain authority. So you're just sending, you're stacking authority, um, essentially. So that's that for social bookmarks. Then another one I really like to use is social signals, just in general, because I like those, you know, everywhere. So remember social sites, uh, huge social media sites, also have a domain authority that is out of this world. So I just go through here and find one that's not, you know, you can tell when they're just BSing you and uh, want you to buy it. So they throw up a huge number. So don't don't hop on those. Just keep going through here. Um, 600 would be okay if you can spread it out. Um, Sendwire, um, that would probably be okay if he doesn't use it for too many people. I would ask him that uh, because Sendwire is a good service. I use that just under uh, my own account. Um, go through here. What this guy says. Where is he sending it? 15. See, I don't want that many tier two links, so I'll probably pass on that. And 600. Um, 50 would be, you know, perfect for a smaller site. You know, just grab 50, um, 50 social signals, and then go from there. Kind of look what they have going. Uh, here, so um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. You know, just go out there and grab it and uh, um, kind of juice up the tier two, just like I show you here. So just follow this. Go out in Ahrefs, Majestic, whatever. Um, find your um, links for your PBN and throw uh, a few links to those links. So um, yeah, an easy kind of tiered linking approach, but we're doing it quality all the way back. So that's really going to make the difference. Um, now, another thing I wanted to talk about is what if you don't have your PBN set up yet? What if you just have some, you know, tier one links? Like I said, you can use those. Another thing you can do is go out and manually um, build a Web 2.0 network. Uh, use it as a PBN. I still use a lot of Web 2.0s just to, to kind of vary my anchor text. I use my, you know, the ones I don't want to rank for as much. I use those on my um, Web 2.0. I use branded, a lot of stuff like that. So what I would do here is I would build something that looks a little like this. Um, to my money site, I would build high quality, um, you know, unique, relevant articles on each one. I go out and I'll, I'll do a, a search on Fiverr for Web 2.0 account creation. I go on there, I tell them to create a bunch of accounts with a bunch of different usernames. You know, you can get 20 to 30 uh, accounts created that um, work really well. Um, go out get those created and then individually go in there and add unique relevant content on each one of those point a link back to your money site and then hop back over to fiverr and some of the ones you know pick four or five of them that you want to kind of beef up and increase the page authority just these um uh, types of links that i went over um they'll you know if you're starting out with a domain authority in the 90s for one of your web 2.0s then you can pretty easily beef it up to, you know, 30 or 40 with just uh, one or two of these gigs. So um, I go out and you can build more Web 2.0s to each Web 2.0. You can do press releases to the Web 2.0, um, bookmark, social, anything like that. So um, that's kind of a PBN on a budget. Of course, eventually you're going to want to grab real PBN sites because I think they still hold a lot, not a lot more weight, but they do hold more weight um, because not anyone can get those. Anyone can get a Web 2.0. So um, that's all I've got for you. If you have any questions, of course, uh, just uh, leave a question in the comments below. I'll put some bonus material on there for anyone that would like to share um, share what I had to say in the article. So, um, yeah, Brad signing off. Have a great one.